This is chapter 5 loops, programming exercise 5, conversion from kilograms to pounds and pounds to kilograms. So we're going to write a program that displays the kilogram to pounds and pounds to kilogram. We're going to start from 1 to 100 for kilograms to pounds and start from 5 to 1000 for pounds to kilograms. We're going to display the result of both kilograms to pounds, pounds to kilograms side by side on a table. For, so for kilograms to pounds, we're going to display it in multiples of one. And from pounds to kilograms, we're going to display it in multiples of five. Note, one kilogram is approximately 2.202 pounds, and one pound is approximately 0 0.453 kilograms. Now the table format is going to look something similar to this where we display what we're converting from what to what, right? Kilograms to pounds and pounds to kilograms. And for kilograms to pounds, we're gonna go from one to 200 with a multiple one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, all the way to uh, 198, 199, 200. And for each kilogram, we're gonna display is conversion in pounds. Vice versa for pounds to kilograms, only difference is we're starting uh, at 5 and going through it through multiples of 5. So starting from 5 pounds, convert it to kilograms, all the way to 10, 15, 990, 995, and 1000. All of this will be on a table side by side. So let's try to tackle that in our code. All right, so for the first thing we're going to do is to try to uh, display something like this right here on top. So that's just a bunch of strings, which is quite simple, right? So for that, let's take a look. Hobie line, and let's have all that something like this right here. I don't really know how long that's going to be, but We'll just do something like that for the time being. All right, so we're gonna have a pipe slash t. I'll uh, be kilograms first. So we're gonna have to do a whole lot of uh, tests and trial for this to make sure it comes out to something we will like. But for now, let's just write it out and see how it looks like. Pounds slash T, probably another pipe slash T, uh, kilograms slash T, pounds slash T, and pipe. So let's run that and let's see how that looks like and we'll fix accordingly. So let's see, kilograms, should we have some space? All right, looks looks all right. So let's try, let's add a little more right here. I think, oh, I forgot. Slash T, arrow, arrow. And maybe I'll do another slash T right here. And let's see how that looks like. All right, I'll do one more slash T, which is short for tab. So tab space, and we'll see how that looks like, just to get that going. All right, so that looks about right. And then slash n plus uh, slash n. No, we don't probably don't need that for now. And it looks pretty good. All right, so we got something like this here going. So that's just for display. That doesn't really require too much work, right? All right. Now, now for the tricky part, the for loop or while loop, depending on what you prefer to loop this. For me, I think I'm gonna go with the for loop and that's because I know when I'm going to start uh, and stop, all right? So for me, I'm going to start at i equals one. Now I'm going to start well, for the start, let's call it final, so it can't be changed. 
we're going to use a uh, short and let's call it size and we'll set it to 200, all right? We're going to go from one to 200. All right, so from one to 200, what I want to do is basically hmm, to display. So uh, let's do some tests to see how that's going to look like. Uh, so far, I'm going to say, let's say 15 of the print. Um, yeah, let's use print for now. I'll put some space. Uh, let's just, just, for, uh, just cause it looks nice. Okay. Now in here, I'm going to start off with a pipe slash T for the tab. And it's going to be the kilogram first. So the, for the kilogram, it's going to look like, uh, let's see, plus uh, I, All right? And I know I'm going to do a slash T. Uh, let's see how else, uh, where is it? Slash T arrow, okay, slash T and then arrow. Arrow slash T. All right, let's see how that looks like for now. Oof. oof, oof, looks terrible. Let me put a new line for each time it runs the loop. All right, that looks about right. So I actually want another slash T right here. So another tab to go underneath. So it'll look uh, looks it'll look nicer. Nope, still another one. So three slash T. All right, so this is just all test and trial to make a really nice looking table. All right, now the thing with this is I don't really like how it's just one all the way to like, you know, 100. So it doesn't look as good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to pad the number. And to do that, I could do something like this. So let's write that down here. Um, no, let's write that inside the for loop. Uh, let's do something like double, use a double, and the name is just going to be padded kilogram, right? Because this number right here that I'm gonna pad is gonna to belong to the kilogram. So padded kilogram is basically going to equal to uh, Kilogram, hmm. Uh, well, it'll be a string dot format. So inside the string class has a format method and it's going to format uh, my padded kilogram. And actually it shouldn't be a double, it should be a string because whatever returns is going to be a string. So it's going to be percent, right? So that's the key word here, percent. To let uh, to let Java know what kind of format I'm using, and it's going to be zero d d for the decimal, and d d for decimal is just going to be i. All right. So before I do, uh, before I explain what that does, let's get a visual on. Actually, I should be doing. This. Let's get a visual on how that works before I explain. All right, there we go. So as you can see, now everything has been padded with zero, so they're all three digits, which looks pretty nice. So what did I just do? I use a method in the string class called format. So this format takes in whatever type of format you want and the number that you want to format. And it does that and then it converts it into a string. So right here, I'm just displaying a whole bunch of strings. So percent zero three, uh, so three D means padded will zero for up to three spaces. So if there's if it's only taking one space, everything to the left of it will now take two space and is and they will become zeros. Right? So that's exactly what it means. So as you can see, these two digit number only takes two space, but I want it to take three space. So any remaining space uh, in front of it will now become a zero. So that's exactly what this did right here, all right? So after I did that, I wanna do the conversion from kilograms to pound. So to do the conversion, um, 
I could basically do some do the conversion right here, right? So this time we'll use a double. Double uh it'll be kilogram converted to pound, right? So that makes sense. And basically all it is is basically I times 2.204. So basically, whatever I is, multiply by it by 2.204, and it is now the kilogram to pound. So I starts at 1, right? Starts at 1, then it goes to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way to 200. And for each time it goes to the next number, I'm going to multiply it by 2.204, and then I'm going to display. All right, so let's display and let's see how that looks like. All right, all of this is just going to be test and trial. And we're going to go from there and see how that looks like. All right, so let's push it, tab it by one more. Add another slash T right here. And there we go, perfect. Now as you may notice, there's a lot of decimal places after some of them, right? And that doesn't look so good. So we're going to try to get rid of it. And to get rid of it, we're going to use um, another class right and this class is going to be called decimal format class which we're just going to call df for decimal format or decimal format for the whole thing doesn't matter right this is your variable name so it doesn't really matter what you call as long as uh, you know what it is and your team member knows what it is now the decimal decimal format is going that's going to take or the pattern that's going to take right it's basically, it's going to take the number at the beginning and anything in the decimal, all right, after the decimal, it's going to take up to uh, three decimal places. So it's going to take up to three decimal places. But as you can see, instead of putting the number, 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 which I could do that, is I put it for zero, zero, zero. But actually, let me just put number, number, number uh, symbol for now and show you what it does. Uh, oh, right, forgot to do one more thing. And that is to take this decimal format, place it in front, dot operator, use the format method and put kilogram to pound and put it inside the format method. All right, so let's run that again. All right, so this time, now it's much better. We don't have something so long following behind it, right? It fixed that because now I say, hey, I just want the three numbers, but there's another issue. As you can see, it doesn't format it like with following uh, always three decimal places. This one is two decimal places, right? Two decimal places here, one decimal place right here, and then we go all the way to the bottom, or actually, let me see if there is any. Well, they all have decimals, which is fine, right? So that's not exactly what we want. We want it, our, at least I want it to be padded to full three decimal places. And that's where the uh, zero, zero, zero comes in. All right, so you could control however you want. Well, now that I show you the, uh, the hashtag symbol, three in the back or a numerical symbol, right? You could do the same if you just want something like that, but I don't. I want something like this with three decimal places at the end. So for numbers that don't have, uh, that goes up to a two and nothing behind it, you pad it with a zero, right? Pad it with a zero. And as you can see on the bottom, had it with a zero, which is exactly what I want. All right, so now that I have that, the next thing I want is to finish up for kilograms to pounds. All right, so for kilograms to pound, I want to tab it first, pipe it, tab it again, and then this time, all right, kilograms is going to go all the way to, uh, well, start from five all the way to 1,000, right? So, um, how am I going to do that? Well, why don't I create uh, another variable? Should I create another variable? Let me think about this. So why don't I create something right here where I call it string padded pound equals string dot format, all right? percent 04d instead of 03 because thousand one thousand is four digits long unlike 200 200 is three digits long 1004 so i want to pad it a little longer 
Now pad it a little longer and I'm going to take i times 5. All right, so i times 5, take this padded pound and place it right here. And let's see how that looks like. All right, so now we're going to run this and see how, what else looks like I've got an error right here because I put an underscore right there and then let's run it again so I'm going to run it again and there we go so now it pads uh, the kilograms with the multiple of five which is exactly what I want with a zero at the beginning all right so now that we got that that looks good and then let's add some tabs Oh, uh, tap, and then I think this should do it. Let's take a look. So run that again, and yes, there you go, slash T. So far, everything's going exactly how we want, right? Everything's good. Now, to do the double and reverse, right? Pound to kilogram, which is basically going to equal to i times 5 times um and what was it uh hmm 0 0.453 0 0.453 0 0.453 all right so we take that pound to kilogram and of course we're going to use the decimal format to format it right decimal that format that format paste it in there and there we go and lastly we're going to uh, tab it once more and pipe all right so run that and see how that looks like mm, tab it once more and run it again and there we go now let's do the finishing touch okay system dot out dot print line put that in here and here we go so this is how our little table uh, came out and looks all right all right so we have our table for kilograms uh, one kilogram is 2.204 pounds that goes from increment one by one at, one at a time all the way to 200 all right we're in the end 200 is 440.8 4, pounds and then to the table next to it we have kilograms to pounds going at multiples of five. Oh this right here uh, let's fix the display on that so we're going to get rid of one tab here and put it right here all right much better all right so five kilograms is 2.265 pounds where we have pad the back with extra zero to take up three decimal places because uh, that's the way I like it uh, of course you could do that for the front too however you like it but actually I, I haven't ever tried it hmm, I wonder so I haven't test this part out so let's see if this works playing around all right fantastic looks like it works of course, uh, I don't really want to pad it. If anything, I want to just push it, tab it. So that's another uh, feature that you could use with string format instead. Uh, pad it with space to make it look nicer, but hey, this looks good too, all right? So in this exercise, you learn about decimal format and string dot format, uh, which are the main thing in this exercise because, you know, conversion is easy using the methods inside a java class that requires a little more play around um, and exploring all right so that will be it for this exercise